Welcome back to MovementProfessional.com. This is my baby daughter Jordan. She's about three weeks old. Uh, so this is my second child and uh, being a father of two I've learned quite a bit about some of the body mechanics that go into uh, being a dad and you know some of the, the pitfalls that can lead to injury. So I want to do a quick video on caring and you know picking a child up and having to spend some time you know changing diapers doing things where you have to be in a forward lean for a while and just kind of reiterating some movement positions that are uh, that lead to good body mechanics and prevent injury. All right, so holding her here, she's about to fall asleep, so I'll try to make sure I, I maintain good control over her. Try to, the uh, common pitfall is to carry the child across the, the belly, kind of almost on the belly button, and that just is going to pull the shoulder forward into internal rotation kind of pull the whole body forward. All right, so you want to get you want to be aware of that and then you want to just slide the child right down, back to your side so the arm bone here slides back into the socket and it's basically creating an external rotation moment taking the shoulder if the shoulder's tipping forward and in you're in internal rotation here and you're just trying to create a little external rotation without overextending the spine. All right? So that's, you know, one of the main things to think about and your elbow should be not flared out, but just being pulled into the body as much as possible. All right, and then that shouldn't be a great amount of force to do that because if you do that really intensely, you're not going to be able to hold this position very long. All right, so that you know, step two then would be don't always carry the child on one side, you may have a dominant side, but it is helpful to be skilled in different positions. All right, so on the right side for me, it's easier for me to carry her. Kind of almost in, she's in a sideline position here, and my arm is able to just carry her between my body and my forearm, and I'm still able to keep this shoulder back. All right, so I can be active. I'm under control with her if I need. I can get my other hand, but I'm pretty comfortable in this position, just holding her like this, and I'm able to swear if she needs to be soothed. All right? And my shoulder is comfortable, kind of in the line of gravity in a good posture not pulled forward here. All right, so pretty straightforward. Just make sure that the shoulder's not pulled forward. Make sure that the baby's not coming across midline, but staying more kind of on the holster on the side. All right, when you go to put her down as if you were going to change a diaper, the key is to keep her close and bring your chest close to her as you put her down. So now I'm in this hip hinge position, which I've talked about in many videos. All right, and I could be in a staggered stance because I'm going to be moving forward and back as opposed to be in a bilateral stance, uh, which you may not be able to see too well in this video, but basically you would want to have one foot forward compared to the other, and then I'm in a better position to move forward and change a diaper. When I pick her up, I want to again scoop underneath and get my both forearms underneath her, bringing myself very close, and then I can pick her back up and then put her into a lower position I'm again going into the staggered hip hinge to pick her up in and out of that. Alright, and then the other important concept is that if we have to go lower into a baby carriage, i got to first have the mobility to get into a good squat, but also the mechanics of carrying the baby carriage are kind of unique. So I want to get down into a good squat and then hold the baby carriage right on the crook of my elbow so that will promote an easier time having me keep this shoulder back. All right, so I got to get strong here and I want to make sure that the palm is up, not down because that's going to promote internal rotation again of the shoulder, which is an impingement position here. All right, and I want to be easily able to change sides. Again, shoulder up and back. All right, so for some men this seems like a you know, kind of a, a rough position to be in because it's almost like a woman carrying a purse. But I'll tell you, it keeps your shoulders a lot healthier, so I could care less what it looks like. All right, so I want to just think I'm keeping my shoulders back the whole time. So carrying anything, but specifically when you're a parent and you have to do a lot of carrying, it's just a good opportunity to work on scapular stabilization. It's the way I like to look at it. So always building stabilization as a parent. Um, I love the opportunity to, to get a workout in with just being a, a dad. See you next time.